Hi, welcome to another journey through timeless wisdom of Rumi. In this session, I read and interpret the first six verses from King and Maiden uh, story by Rumi. Please subscribe to my channel because in the future video, I, I, I outline the rest of the story. So by subscribing, you make sure you get notification so you don't miss the future part of this beautiful story by Rumi. Now let's read it in English. All friends, lend ears to tales we spin. In truth they marrow from within. In days of yorn, there ruled the king, both crown and spirit in his sling. One morn upon his steed he rode with countries in pursuit mode, along the path his gaze did land on a maiden simple yet grand. His heart a bird in a cage did beat for her gold he laid at her feet. He purchased her, his longing fire, but fate had plans grim and dire. In his embrace she found her bed, but soon fell ill, her vigor fled. And in order to listen to the beautiful mus musicality of Persian language and get into the essence of Rumi's original spiritual journey, let's listen to this in Persian. So Rumi says, بشنویده دوستان این داستان خود حقیقت نقد حال ماست آن بود شاهی در زمانی پیش از این ملک دنیا بودش و هم ملک دین اتفاقا شاه روزی شد سوار با خواص خیش از بحر شکار یک کنیزک دید شه بر شاه راه شد قلام آن کنیزک جان شاه مرغ جانش در قفس چون می تپید داد مال و آن کنیزک را خرید چون خرید او را و برخوردار شد آن کنیزک از غذا so in summary, a king who had both physical and spiritual uh, position and power was going on a hunt with his people and he came across this beautiful river and saw this beautiful maiden. His heart stopped beating very hard and he, he felt very passionate for her and wanted her. So she, he used some of her money and bought her and brought her to his own palace. But as soon as he possessed her, she felt ill in his bed. This is a beautiful way that Rumi depicts that somebody that has both material and spiritual power goes through this journey. And this is very important because it shows us that even when you are at your, uh, on your spiritual path, when you are becoming more spiritual and more free from uh, materialistic attachments, because of our nature, because of your nature, we will be falling in love with material possession and we will feel that obtaining them is the answer for our internal happiness. In psychology, they call it uh, something named uh, normalization. If somebody is very stressed and anxious, it's very helpful for them to know that what they're going through, all the thoughts and feelings are normal. And when they feel everything is normal, they feel a lot better. And that is, I think, what Rumi is doing in the beginning, saying that somebody who is a spiritual and who has money falls in love with some material possession and finds his happiness attached to the presence and the happiness of that person that's external to him. So it's a very good reminder for all of us that in our spiritual journey, journey if we feel uh, 
attached to things and as a result we suffer, it's just a normal part of the life. So it doesn't disappoint us when we go through these feelings and we don't think that, oh, spirituality is not for us. We don't feel that, oh, okay, now we have to quit. Because why did I fall in love with some, uh, something that's outside me, something that uh, creates a lot of unhealthy attachment for me? No, it's not that. So through this story, we learn that it's normal. We are human being. And through day-to-day -day life, automatically we feel passionate about obtaining things and then being attached to them. It's normal, but also when we know that these things that we obtain can deteriorate and kind of uh, reduce its quality and makes us upset, it gives us some sort of awareness to feel a little bit less attached to that thing so we don't suffer as much. I'd like you to reflect uh, on this uh, verses from Rumi and see how it is applicable in your own life. How much through social media, friends and family and TV and everything else, do we receive a message that in order for us to be happy and fulfilled, we need to have something uh, very materialistic? Uh, look at all the advertisement about cars, houses, the mortgage, the lending money, etc. It shows that people who are having something that they are showing us as valuable makes them really happy. It does this sort of brainwashing for us. And that brainwash makes us feel that we need all this material possession. We have some uh, attachment to them and as a result we suffer a lot. And that is the relevance to the Rumi story. See how that can be applicable. Please leave a comment in the comment section below and see how relevant that can be in our day-to-day -day life where we feel material possession is the answer to the happiness. And eventually when we obtain something that, all that, that we are attached to, we either find it's a very normal thing and we worry about other stuff, so we go back to our original feeling of fulfillment or we see that thing deteriorate or becomes a problem and creates more pain in our lives. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you, you don't miss the rest of this beautiful story by Rumi. Thanks very much.